Ready, my bro? Yeah. Number one? Yay, bagels. Two packets of ham for Auntie Cece. No, sorry I came back a bit late because ja is Jack waiting for you? Yeah. No, oh. no, 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 right, yeah, obviously not. Like. Oh, yay. It's for me. I just farted. Oh. And then for the baby. Number one, because she keeps running out of sleep suits, so I got her this one. It's a bit expensive, but she deserves yeah, it. Oh, that is so cute. With the little collar. The collar is so cute. This is for her outfit for Ellie's graduation because she has to be obviously looking good. Hello? It's like gonna be her big debut. Oh no one cares about Ellie's graduation. Yeah, Everyone yeah, there will be like, give me a look at the baby. Yeah. But when I saw Owen, I was like, do you wanna see a picture of her? I was like, one of those so people. And I was like, this. So good. It's, it's like, let me find a good one. So cute. Look at the little collar. That's so cute. Aww. And the dungarees with it. I love a good dungaree. Now the only thing is, oh wait, it does a button open at the bottom for chain, easy changing so access. <gasps> she's a little older. Imagine when she's a little older and she's like riding around in like one of those really small like toy cars. I was in there getting sanitary pads and like was look, like browsing. And then I go, do you have gripe water for babies, like for reflux? And then she was like, I've never heard of such a thing. And then she goes, don't buy over the counter for your baby. And I was just like, oh, here we go. I'm gonna get a lecture. I'll make you something. And then she like took out her witchcraft book and she literally oh was like this. God. I was standing there for hours, like it felt like hours. I was literally like, oh my God. She goes, this is for your own baby? How old is she? Seven weeks. Congratulations, oh my God. And I'm like, yeah, she's just here at home. Like I wanna be going back to her. And then she was like, let me look now. And then she was like, ask me what words mean in the book. And I was like, oh. Don't buy any like approved. Yeah, FDA she approved. don't buy anything yeah. approved by the FDA yeah. or safe. She's like, take it from me, a random stranger that I've made. <laughs> no, I got peer pressure into buying it anyway. So it's probably in the bag somewhere. Missy was gonna eat it. She's like, um, I feel you're hesitating. It was really like, are you a, like, what's, what's going on with you? Yeah, why is it so deep? Yeah. Anyway, she's, she won in the end, she won. Aww. Cute noise you made. She's trying to speak. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying big stretch. Since I got a, my period two days ago, like some sort of demon has been released in my body, and I didn't really get the baby blues or anything after I gave birth, and uh, it took my body ages to heal, and it still is healing. Obviously, with an episiotomy, it takes even longer to heal, so I didn't think I'd get my period, um, and I'm exclusively breastfeeding, so it doesn't really make any sense. And I can't use tampons, and I can't use my period underwear because I have overgranulation beside my wound and it aggravates it so I was trying to free bleed but then fucking everything was getting covered in blood and it's just like I'm still I'm still in pain but my body like thinks I'm ready to have a, another baby for some reason and then I tried to take a shower this morning and she would stop crying and I then I tried to have my breakfast and she still would stop crying so I can't eat even when I'm trying to put a pad on. She's screaming, crying. So then I'm on a breastfeed and like, she's looking up at me and I'm fucking bawling, crying. And I feel really bad because I don't want her to think I'm like upset that she's here or whatever, even though she can't understand my emotions. It's only a stupid baby. Like I cannot put her down for one second. So like I have to try piss and change my pad on the toilet while holding her or otherwise leave her down and let her scream, crying while I do it. Like, so much pressure as well to be the only source of food for her. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not your fault. She's only a stupid baby. She doesn't know how to change her own nappy. And these fucking nappies I got are so fucking shit. I'm gonna, sorry for the cursing. I'm going, uh, I'm gonna blame all my problems on these stupid fucking nappies that I've been using. And I was trying to use them up before we started on reusables because I didn't want to waste them or whatever because she'd grow, I couldn't keep them because she'd grow out of them. And they were already an open bag, so I couldn't like gift them to anyone either. <laughs> they would be a bit scabby. I swear to God, every time she pisses in them, it just goes up her side. Like they're not absorbent at all. And they're also like as hard as cardboard, so I think they're uncomfortable on her as well. And the stupid fucking white noise machine, I swear I could flick it through the fucking window. The shushing sound. There was a thunder and lightning storm yesterday, but we were all cozy inside together. The sheets were freshly changed. The hum of the washing machine rung along with the water droplets crashing against the window pane, reminding us we were dry and warm inside. 
safe and sound. I haven't been feeling the greatest. Frustrated and losing my patience, I find that the smallest inconvenience can set me off. Like my glasses getting stuck in between the cushions of the couch, biting my tongue while eating, dropping a hot piece of toast on the ground, the shower running cold or not being able to find the matching pair of socks. I know this shall pass, but I find myself looking at my son and daughter, free of expectation, worry or dread, who's held when she cries and needs are met by any observing adults nearby. And I feel almost Fuck. jealous. I yearn to be small enough so I can be held and rocked and sleep on top of my mother's chest. To have my nails bit and my snots picked. To be bathed in chamomile and milk, warm water poured over my head and hugged dry. I wish to experience life for the first time, unbeknownst to heartache and disappointment. Unaware of the cruelties and pressures I so want to protect her from. Not yet a woman, not yet a girl. Just a baby. Now this part of the video is sponsored by Love Honey, the world's biggest online sex store. You already know the drill. I'm opening up their 12 days of play sex toy advent calendar. Such a good gift to get. This is like buying yourself one thing, but it lasts over 12 days. So you can like keep opening it and keep getting a surprise for the 12 days. Do you know what I mean? So it still feels like you're giving yourself presents for 12 days. It only costs 95 pounds, but all the stuff in it is worth 210 pounds altogether. So it is a big bargain. So I'm gonna open the whole thing for you now to like show you the whole thing because I like to binge I'm going to Galway so I won't actually even have time to open my presents while I'm away so I might as well open it all now little user manual safety guide okay let's go number one so this is a USB rechargeable bullet vibrator don't have to size fool you this bullet vibe will knock your socks right off oh my god it's so pretty it looks like a lipstick. Very handy for travel. That's a really nice little subtle. That's actually really pretty. Love this. Very glam. Obsessed. We are going on holidays. That's a good one to bring. Sorry, I need to milk as well because um, I, was leaking, I was leaking everywhere. Two, menthol pleasure balm. Now I've heard of this as well for guys to, guys, it's very heteronormative of me. For a people, if you're giving a, if you're giving a person with a vulva head to have the fisherman's like icy chewing gum, because apparently it's like, menthol is like really nice on a vulva. So this is really interesting. So if you could put this on first and then use a sex toy, I'd say, it will knock your socks right off. Mint orgasm balm infused with tingly menthol. This balm works wonders on your intimate areas. Number three, blindfold. Naughty. Number four, this is a G-spot dildo. Prove it's what's on the inside that counts by giving your internal hotspot sublime stimulation. Compatible with the bullet vibrator behind door one. For safety and user instructions, see the included leaflets. Two in the pink, one in the stink. You got both going on for ultimate pleasure. Number five, sorry, I love this. Good ornament even. <gasps> Here we go. Crystal butt plug. It's clear as crystal. This dazzling plug ain't no diamond in the rough. In fact, it's a real gem. This is actually really pretty as well. It's real heavy though. It's heavy too. Oh my God. So nice. Now that feels classy. Number six. Now I've never used a butt plug before. So I'll update you. Oh my God. Mini G-spot vibrator curved to perfection. This little genius this little genius knows exactly how to please your internal hotspots. For safety and user instructions, see the included leaflets. These are all really pretty. Number seven, that's my lucky number. Kegel balls, tone muscles and potentially enhance orgasm with these sensual Kegel balls. This could actually be really helpful for after you give birth, you need to do your Kegel exercises, which is basically your pelvic floor exercises. They're just called different things. Med I think medically it's called a pelvic floor exercise, but it's basically the squeezing of your vaginal walls. Mine used to be really strong and really good because I. Could, I was able to feel when I was squeezing my vagina shut, but after you give birth, you literally can't feel your pelvic floor at all. And when you're pregnant, your pelvic floor muscles are stretched out really far. Obviously stretching, the stretching out of muscles makes them weaker and weaker. So when they spring back, they're a bit loose and like weak. So you have to keep doing your exercises. It's probably gonna be really hard for me to orgasm now when I have sex. So I, I need to start work, I need to work out my vagina. My vagine needs a good workout. So this is actually really handy. Number eight. <gasps> oh! Sex dice. Let's roll it. Relax. 
relax for five minutes. The dice literally said, put the feet up. I swear to God, this is what came off. What am I talking about? These are all so good if you're going on holidays. Like, I'm sorry, this is so subtle, like to go in your handbag. On the go. I can't wait to use this. So much fun, spicing it up. Nine. Rabbit finger vibrator sleeve. Upgrade your pleasure sessions with rabbit finger vibrator sleeve. Oh, vibrator sleeve. In your vibrator. Oh, I love, this is, a this is genius. Now, number 10. Leave your love buttons feeling ultra sensitive with these velvety nipple suckers. If I use these, they would be full of milk. 11. Oh my god, this is so fun. I can't believe how much they give you for 95 quid. Like, this is insane. These silicone anal beads feature a sturdy finger loop so you can remove them at the point of climax for spine tingling satisfaction. Oh my god. Obsessed. No, that's too good. Okay, now number 12. I think this is probably gonna be the best one. It's the biggest, it's the biggest compartment. This is such a good Christmas present. <gasps> Womanizer style of three clitoral stimulator. Meet the Womanizer, a piece to the resistance and your new best friend. Oh my God. So the Womanizer is the one that it basically blows air on your vulva. Sometimes vibrators can be too heavy on their vulvas but this is like a lot more it's like if you have a really sensitive clitoris this is, would be the best thing for you and anytime i've had a womanizer on my story every single person who has one replies and is like this is, has given me the best orgasm i've ever ever had in my whole life and this alone is worth 69 pounds Love Honey really popped off with this one. So as I already said, the calendar costs 95 pounds altogether. But if you use the code Keelan10, you can also get 10% off. Even bigger of a bargain. Such a good present. Okay, linked in my description as well. Bye. I do. Just, I don't know. Hold on, mom. No, but I'm ringing. Oh, she, she's not answering. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh my god, so good. Skinny foodies. Oh, hang on. The power's made the paper. Mm. You can light up my luck. Come on, Jason, sing in. Let's join in. Whenever I fall, you say it best. When you say what? When you say nothing at all. The world of our own. I'll tell you things that no one else knows. I let you in when no one else goes. Whatever do without you. Whatever do without you. Well, I guess I'm ready. Oh, no buts on me.
thanks guys. <laughs> what do you call it? Yeah, that Mary Jennings last night, you know, went to the... Exciting poetry. Oh, Ke Keelan, you yeah. have to do a recitation. Let's do a recitation. Go on, do a poem. Not now, not now. Come on. Made one gasp and stretch one die. Matilda growing tired of play and finding, and finding she was left alone. When tiptoed to the telephone. Within an hour, the gallant band were pouring in from every hand, from Putney, Hackney, Downs and Bow, with courage high and hearts aglow. They galloped roaring through the town. Matilda's house is burning down, inspired by British cheers. They ran their ladders to a score of windows on the ballroom floor, took particular pains to souse the pictures up and down the house. Until Matilda's aunt succeeded in showing them they were not needed. And even then she had to pay to get those men to go away. Now it happened for a few weeks later, her aunt was out to the theatre to see that interesting play, the second Mrs. Tankery. She had refused to take her niece to see this entertaining piece. Looking here. Just for the table. Just, or just give a nod. No. So I ring and be like, here, when you're bringing our water, can you bring some salt like a fucking normal person or not? What happened to the TV? Cheers, thank you. Tesco can go fuck themselves. It looks really nice. Can I have a bite? Yeah, we're fine. Can I have a bite? Yeah. What sauce is that? We'll take turns. A, a tartar sauce, probably. Is that chicken burger nice? It's okay, do a bite. I actually don't want to bite because I, I'm satisfied with my chicken goujons. Joe, you know I'd do if I had a lot of chicken goujons, I'd give them. I'd give one to someone. <laughs> It looks so shit. I don't make this shit. Why is it chicken like that? Oh, like? I thought it'd be breaded, yeah. yeah oh, that's so bad. It looks so shit. Oh my god, it actually couldn't look shitter. It's okay. Guys, wait, I want to know if this old bag is saying on the TV. Oh, look how cute Keel's feet are. We can go for a walk down there after Reggie. so nice in you. I'd love a coat like that for yeah. the rain. Like that? It's great. It's great yeah, it's really coat. nice. Really there nice. Go. Great winter coat. It looks so good in you as well. Thanks, guys. And I got this top. That top's... Yeah, she has great style. Yeah, she does. Living in a in a trailer. Okay, I got this. It's not for me. I got this in the charity shop, in her charity shop for one euro. Is her charity shop really good? Yeah, so good. Like, every time you find something, it's like... Is it not saying that? No. I'm doing serious. my haul, Jerry. Oh, I, don't feel I got, I got this. Nice. And I also uh, have it in beige, but Jack knows it. Then I have this scarf that he oh, got me. Wait. Oh, lovely. That's real, um... Eternal sunshine with spotless wine. Yeah. Or uh, about a boy. That's have so you ever watched? Have like, you ever watched? Um, Camp Rock or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got this. It's just like a kind of turtleneck jacket thing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, like a little. Fleece. Get out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> and then this top I really like too. I wore this yesterday. Oh, Gorgina. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, that's so nice. Oh my god, it's so nice. Where'd you get them? This top. Where'd you get them? Mia gave them. And she gave me these pants. They're actually really nice on. That's all. Awesome. Period. And that scarf is so bad. It looks like some Joe Jonas is wearing. I, 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 <laughs> I like it. I like it too. It's so bad.